us ain't the same Last drink that we entertained last week Last drink, we was on our last drink Then it went sideways This is crazy, man We was up late night trying to have a great time Then I hit the highway But things wouldn't be this way If I could have it with another video and as y'all can tell by the title and the thumbnail man i'm gonna be going over the best badges so as y'all can see on the screen one badge earned 16 badges earned 10 badges earned 21 badges earned. i have been playing this game non-stop since the drop i'm not gonna lie y'all that's probably why i sound hella tired in this commentary but as y'all know man i'm grinding i'm working i'm just trying to you know what i'm saying power off so before i get into the badges you know what I'm saying? Make sure you guys go into the description. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on my socials. Connect with me so y'all know when I'm streaming because my noties don't always go out. So if you haven't, before I get into the badges, hit the like button. Now first, I'm going to talk about shooting and defense because those are my main badges. So I'm going to leave timestamps for my badges. So I'm going to stop wasting our time and get into the badges right now. So I'm going to start with defense. Now as y'all can see, my badges are distributed now since i have my badges unlocked fully i can arrange them based on what i'm playing this was for 3v3 pro-am so as y'all can see i'm rocking clamps gold interceptor gold intimidator rebound chaser rim protector pickpocket and chase down artist now heart crusher is an underrated badge but i'm gonna get into that last so starting with this top row, everybody knows clamps. That's an important badge. The reason I don't have it on Hall of Fame is because I don't handle um, the ball handler mostly, you know, playing the two because we most likely have a center on the court. Yeah, I'm going to pick up on screens, but I'm most likely protecting the corner while the center and the, um, the guard work between the screen. So Intimidator, this is a big deal, I'm trying to tell y'all. This is important, this is a game changer. If you guys are rocking a guard, just pick dodger and pick pocket, you guys know, you guys are allowed to distribute your badges how you want to with that, but trust me, clamps and intimidator, that's important, y'all. So moving on to interceptor, this can go anywhere from go to Hall of Fame, depends on, like I said, what you plan, how you wanna do, your badges, another layout. You guys can go crazy, I'm trying to tell you. It just depends on what you're doing and what your build is. I'm rocking a 6-6-2 way, so I kind of need my badges to pick up some of the spots, but like, I might run box, you feel me? But like a big 6-9 paint beast with 99 strength doesn't even need to run box. If you're playing fives, run trapper, run post move lockdown, moving truck, I still need to experiment with these badges. But I'm pretty sure this is the floor general of um, defense. But yeah, y'all know how defense gets down, man. It's not too much to say other than what I've said already. Just make sure you're distributing your badges smartly. Don't go crazy with pogo stick and all that unless you're playing twos. You feel me? And you feel like you gotta go be down there in the paint. Hey, look, defense is different. Just stay on your feet. Now moving on to the shooting badges, as y'all can see. We got three Hall of Fame, Dead Eye, and Corner Specials. So my Hall of Fame badges are pretty much what everybody ran last year. Y'all know motherfuckers was rocking Green Machine, Range Extender, High Zone Hunter, Dead Eye, Hall of Fame. And then they had the Quick Draw though. This year, no Quick Draw, that's clutch. So we can make up for the badges and make them Hall of Fame. We can go with Corner Specialist. We can go with Catch and Shoot, you know what I'm saying? But trust me, y'all. This is more than just a corner. So if y'all shooting those fades, you know what I'm saying, and close to the corner, this is gonna be important for y'all. But this right here, Hot Zone Hunter, Hot Zone Hunter Hall of Fame. 
Now I just played like a couple games with this gold and the difference between gold and hall of fame is insane. Now if you can get this to hall of fame, this is going to make you shoot super consistent. Hot zone hunter is going to make you shoot very well in your spots across the court. You know what I'm saying? If you're shooting in the same spot because you have range extender hall of fame. Now if you're an ISO player, I definitely suggest trying to get steady shooter in there most likely if you're like a point guard who can dribble you have a little bit more than 16 shooting badges but if you don't you know what i'm saying you can always go like this just try to leave this on all the fame though or just at its top tier i'm telling you guys this is going to make a big difference in how you shoot also this year fades are super broken so my guards like I said, you guys can go like this. So, you know, even something like this works. Like I said, for my guards, just try to get tireless shooter in there. Because, like, once you do a couple of moves, you guys are going to be blinking. So, this is just going to boost you. You know what I'm saying? If you don't have Gatorade or anything like that, or max stamina. But, yeah, that's pretty much all I got to say for the, uh, for the shooting badges. Volume shooter is a good badge, too. It pops up, I think, after three shots in the park. So... You know what I'm saying? That'll help you shoot as well. But, um, yeah, let's get into the playmaking. All right, so to be honest, I'm not much of a playmaker yet. You guys know I have a guard on the way, so I can't really give you guys too much of a, you know, insight on these badges right now. But I do know the handles for days and quick first step is the way to go pretty much all the time. After that, you're going to want to get your diamond, your floor general, and all that. But you guys are going to want to get this Hall of Fame if you can. Bailout is a really good badge this year. Um, it's not just shooting out of shots. It's all passes in midair. And then if you guys believe it unpluckable, you guys can throw that on too. I just got it on bronze. So, hey, it's whatever. But yeah, I don't have too much to say about the playmaking badges, like I said. Um, I don't really know about these three badges right here. A lot of people talk about how they don't work, this and that. Hey, man, I don't know. Y'all can put them on and try much yourself. I see how it goes, man. Now, as far as the finishing badges, I only got one finishing badge, but I do know contact finisher is insane. So, if you guys can get this up, along with Giant Slayer, the guards, um, Showtime helps out the team. Bob City finisher for my big man. Acrobat, definitely. This is an overpowered badge for the big man. But I don't really know too much about the finishing badges, so you guys will have to let me know about that in the comment section. If you guys made it this far, make sure to smack up that like button. But uh, yeah, this has been my badge breakdown video. Hopefully you guys enjoy, man. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the little intros at the beginning of the video. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully you guys are new to my channel and you guys are staying, coming back, hitting that sub button. You know what I'm saying? That means a lot to me. Make sure to stay till the end of the video also and like check out the little outro screen. You guys will see another video about me. You guys can get my jump shot or my build or just whatever video pops up on the screen. But yeah, um, I'm trying to rock out these videos, man. I'm not going to lie. Shout out to Tony for the thumbs, man. He's been going. But uh, yeah, man, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, um, if you guys need any more badge videos or any other videos in general, drop a comment, leave a like, let me know. And uh, yeah, it's me, my camo. And I'm out. Uh, is hatred. 4 a.m. is FaceTime. Woke up the shot of tripping. She said I left her all alone. Seemed like I just went missing. I ain't been gone, babe. I promise I just been in the trenches. I'm trying to focus on myself and go run up a million. Yo, mindset just how stuck on a nigga cheating. I ain't worried about none of these bras. You get mad and hang up for no fucking reason. They compare me to all these little boys. For you to leave, son, I know I gave you hella reasons. But don't forget, I just got jammed with that rod. Behind that, I gotta worry about you trying to leave me. How you think I'ma be holding behind bars?